Hello and welcome to my new video. I'm very happy and proud to present you my new uh, project. A project that I was working on for uh, several weeks now. It's a long shot with two cool mods. The first one is this front grip you can see right here. It makes the normally rather slim long shot a little bulkier and therefore look much cooler, like a space rifle. And it's constructed out of hard foam board. A uh, very nice material that you can cut with a uh, cutter knife and glue with super glue. And the second one is it has the um, internals of a strife, so it's no longer a one shot blaster, but it's semi automatic. It has flywheels and a pusher mechanic. Um, you can turn on the flywheels with this button here. And as you maybe can hear by the howling of the motors, it's not 6 volt stock, but it has an additional battery compartment for two AA batteries in the front grip, so it's 9 volts now. I had to do this because um, the long barrel of the front gun was taking too much speed out of the darts. And the third thing I did was putting um, the red dot light from a recon inside of the front gun. Um, so it has a laser pointer now inside. And the batteries for this are also in the front gun. Now we'll go over the internals real quick. It's actually quite simple. First thing is the flywheel cage. I screwed it down to screw posts are made out of epoxy putty at the bottom. And at the top it's screwed down to the original uh, screw post of the little piece of uh, strife shell that I integrated into the long shot. And this is mainly the original pusher mechanism from the strife. I just had to modify a few things. I had to extend it so it reaches the, the darts in the clips which sit here. I used um, only parts of the strife and the long shot. This little L piece, for example, is the, I think it's um, the lock that detects if there is a dart in the clip. And I just uh, glued it down with epoxy putty and screwed it down additionally, because there will be more stress on this part. And then extended it with a nail and put the epoxy putty around it to form a pusher. And the other thing I had to do is modify the original long shot trigger a little bit because I had to make it move a little further to push the pusher all the way. <coughs> On the other side of the pusher mechanic, there is the battery compartment of the strife and I used that as well. The cables are running here, like this to the motor and here they exit the shell. And then <coughs> connect here to, this, uh, to the front grip I built and lead to one of these uh, knobs to activate. And the third thing I did was the, a little laser pointer in the front gun. It's actually the, the red light from a recon. Battery compartment is here at the back, glued down with hot glue. And the cables also exit here and lead into the front grip. And one of the knobs um, turns it off and on. So let's see what the crony says about dart speed. I haven't measured it yet, but I'm sure it will not be all too slow. Eighty? Sixty-eight? Eighty-eight? Eighty-eight point seven? Eighty-three feet per second. The paint job also came out very cool. It's nothing special, but um, it looks very spacey. Um, it's one layer of uh, black spray paint. Then I taped everything off and spray painted the red details. And then I dry brushed the whole blaster with silver and put over two um, clear coats, one uh, glossy and one uh, matte.
I haven't decided yet what I like more. A normal six dot clip. I haven't painted this one in the right color yet, but it looks really cool. Or the banana clip. Which also looks really cool. And I've made a scope for it too. Which also looks quite nice. 